Alright, Brew of Revealing. Night Vision, Carrot, Two Eyes, a Mushroom, and an Odor of Purity. And yes, I am wearing my fancy witching clothes. But I don't think that particularly matters for Kettle Brews. Still. Might as well give it a try. And there we are, a bunch of brews of revealing. Now all I need is this special spectral stone. Well, let's take a look at that. That would probably be under circle magic in necromancy. Hmm. Interesting. Ah, spectral stone. Perform at night. Necromantic stone. Concealed spirit. Condensed Fear. Oh, this is a couple of interesting new s new recipes. Okay. So, Congealed Spirit. Ah, that's one of those. Okay, so first I need the Brews of Hollow Tears. These are made from the Brews of Flowing Spirit. Yes, and you see I get actually quite a lot of them. Let's just... There, that'll make it. Yes, just need to run this through the distilleries. So, those other things, these spirits, these are little things that spawn in the spirit world every once in a while. And they are a monster that you can kind of catch. If I release one here, Look at it. It's a tiny little thing that is just like flying around and... Let's see if I can get something to swat it a bit easier. Yeah. It only has like 1 HP, but it's very nearly impossible to hit. Anyway, they have a couple of uses apparently. You need them for some rituals, and we just saw that they're used for that one brew. Ah, and that also gives us the Condensed Fear. I'm not sure what this brew of hollow tears does, but I don't know. Yes, that's just five and a brew of hollow tears, okay? One, two, three, four, five, and one. Hmm, and it only gives one each, huh? Apparently. Well, I'll just have to use them wisely. One thing I do like is that using it, using that in-game feature, it seems to save my place. So it's very nice. So congealed spirit, condensed fear, and I need a boline. Boline? Boline? Anyway, that's just a very simple thing. It's kind of... Yeah, it's like shears, but can harvest trapped plants and cobwebs, has the attack of an iron sword, and is used in some rituals. So I need that. Hello. Brew of hollow tears. Necromantic stone. Spectral dust. Okay. And the bowling like the like the Arthana, that should um it shouldn't be used up. It should just kind of pop off. And it has to be night and what circles are necessary? Just an inner white, okay? Hello? Is this brazier maybe messing it up? Hmm. Oh, it's condensed fear, not hollow tears. Very silly of me not to get it. There we go. 
Yes. The Spectral Stone. Apparently this thing is used for trapping spirits. Mm. Okay, so that's asking me to summon a Banshee, but I don't know. I'm... I think that there's something, some sort of ritual that you perform to trap the spirit inside the spectral stone. Anyway, the quest called for graveyard dust, and I have that from a previous quest. Aha! To bind a banshee, perform a ritual of binding, page 7 of Circle Magic. Okay. Okay. Spectral stone, spectral dust, and bowline. So here's the stone, here's the dust, here's the bowline. And then for summoning the banshee itself, I need wormwood, condensed fear, and graveyard dust, and then I need to light the brazier. Okay. Graveyard dust. Fear and wormwood. And I'll just have it right in here. Yes, yeah, so you see it has that, that lovely little graphic in it. It all turns into miscellaneous white sludge. Where did my flint and ah? Okay. Ah, yes, and I might not be able to see her very well. So let's see here. Is this going to work? So it did. So it looks like she doesn't need to be revealed. So, do you scream at me and, like, hurt me? Yes, you do. Yes, you certainly do. That, that hurt quite a bit. But thankfully, I can trap her in a Pokeball. So that gave me a spectral stone with two more banshees in it. Neat. So, according to the quest book, I can trap up to three of them in a spectral stone. Maybe I should, like, conglomerate the two stones together. I don't know, let's see here. Spectral stone, spectral dust, bowline. Mm -hmm. Check our altar power. Yes, yes, yes. Very good. So it looks like whatever type of damage those banshees are doing, it goes right through my armor. So let's see here, should I be able to empty out, I should be able to empty out these stones just by like... A dupe? Yeah, look at that. Mm-hmm. Oh dear. It, uh... It, um, 
It only traps one at a time. Okay, well, that's... I'm just going to need some more spectral dust. Let's get our rod of the shaded mesa. It should be able to move these girls relatively easily. No, you don't. Okay, why you know? These, these stones should be able to... Uh, hmm. Okay, get into the circle. Let's try putting just a blank stone in. No, 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 no. Get into the circle. Yeah, I know. I don't like it either. I should have put up a barrier. Okay, that's better. Now I just need to regen a little bit. Okay, hopefully this will make things a little bit easier. These necromancer robes are the other half of the witch's robes. See? Okay, um... You see how these witches' robes say 35% chance of a second brew except for necromantic? Well, these ones, 35% chance of second necromantic brew. Uh-huh. And no other brews. I'll just make a, another witch's hat to go with it. There we go. And an armor stand. There. And we'll put it, like, I don't know, on this side of the distillers. Well, not right there, obviously, because that's a... There. It's pretty much the witch's robes, just with some shoulder pauldrons. Neat. Anyway, hopefully, this will make the banshees behave a little bit better. Also, they can be commanded with a necromantic stone. Which I am out of. Great. I might have to summon some more demons to get some more spectral dust. How many more tombstones do I have? Nah. Yeah, okay, so I'm just gonna put some hoppers on these here grespas. And yep, they will keep them stocked. And I need to make it nighttime. And that. Doop. Oh. Not charged. Not charged stones. Should not have used charged stones. 
Derp. Derp. Uncharged stones. Was meant to use... Oh dear. Oh dear. In my defense, the necromantic stones, they glow. And the attuned stones, they glow. And, and it's, and it's, That's better. So yeah, you see, circle magic can be automated like this. And in fact, the heart rune can be triggered with a redstone signal. So if I wanted to, I could load these hoppers up with just a bunch of ingredients. And then put an automated hourglass on this thing. And I would be able to mass craft a couple recipes. The only problem being the altar here. Well... Oh yeah, also I made the I made the pentacle. It's just a bunch of cobaltite and now its recharge rate is very very high. Okay, so I have a necromantic stone. I have necromancer's robes. Let's try Putting up a barrier and seeing if we can trap these banshees. And if they'll behave. So if I remember correctly, barrier is just obsidian and redstone. Whom. Yes. So that should trap them in place while I get everything ready and do some testing. Okay. Nope, we're not cool. We are not cool. Still, that should at least keep them in place until I can... Until I can, like... Yeah. That goes right through the barrier and they can see me through it. That figures. <sighs> Darn, I hoped I was onto something here. Okay. Hmm. Maybe I should make like a circle underground for the barrier for the barrier thing. Cause now I'm gonna have to turn the barrier off and then turn it back on. Hmm. Could build a wall around it. Eh, I think I'll just kind of guess. Dupe. And dupe. There we go. Okay. Well, that was a bunch of derp. But, hey. I, I, I cleared out a free spectral stone. That's... That's something. <sighs> okay, what's next? Troublemakers... Summoning specters and banshees, you found there occasionally will be a poltergeist causing all kinds of trouble. So, it's just random? I randomly sometimes get a poltergeist? That's crappy. Armor will not protect you from the pain it causes. Well, that's reassuring. 
It also seems to be something of a running theme. So... Wormwood, Woolabat, and Graveyard Dust. Okay. So how do I get this Graveyard Dust anyway? No, oh, that's really simple. Really, the only thing is finding a good source of that Spectral Dust. I might need to, like, make a bunch more of those... of those charms and summon a bunch of demons and see if I can get another really good trade like I got that one time. Okay, so Spectral Stone, Spectral Dust. I need two pieces of Spectral Dust. Alright. Wormwood, Woolabat, and Graveyard Dust. Okay. place. Okay, and then set up the stuff to bind it in here. And then all I need to do is light the brazier. So supposedly this guy's pretty darn deadly and I do not want him to touch me. And he's gonna try to. He should be a lot more aggressive than those fairly passive banshees. Yeah, look at that. He's fast. I'm faster. <laughs> yeah, I didn't want to do some science with a ghost running around. I might I might test out how bad he is in a uh, in a safe barrier though. We'll see. And that looked like no poltergeists, so huh, I'll have to do some research into how to get poltergeists. And I might do some derpery see if I can conglomerate these two down. Okay, this is actually kind of cool. Check this out. Underneath the altar in the in the grotto I cleared out a little bit of space and I set up this circle down here with some with some red crystal leading down and hoppers full of the ingredients for a dome of of a barrier, right? So up in the circle I just have a lever and doop doop. Zoom. Yeah. Now it's a little bit low down because, you know, it's it's a couple of spaces beneath the ground, but it does have at least two spaces inside of it. So I think it should be good for spirits. I don't think it's good for demons. I think demons might be three tall. Anyway... Now that I have a safe means of keeping them contained. Let's put that spectral stone and bowling. And powder. Let's see if I can't get these two, these two jokers, well, these three jokers, really, into the same stuff. So, I'm 
just need to a dupe. Yeah, look at that. See, he's he's nice and in there. And a dupe. I only see two. Well, ah, there's the third. Okay, so now's the hard part. Maybe I should have made some, like, red crystal controls to... Okay. A dupe. Aha! That ended up being a lot less painful than I thought it might be. And... Zoom. Excellent. Okay, let's round off the episode first by seeing if our new barrier system is at all good for summoning demons. Yeah, look at that. It won't work with the de with all that in place. Hmm. Well, we're just going to have to kind of do this the harder way then, I guess. What I'm going to try and do here is I'm going to try to create a magic mirror. The magic mirror will... Well, it, I, I guess we'll explore it kind of next episode because it does a bunch of stuff. And this is kind of rounding off the day, you know? Anyway, so that's Barrier plus Demon. And the final thing we want is the mirror itself. Here it is. Oh, that's a problem. That's a problem. Yeah. So it's looking like for this mirror ritual... I'm going to need two inner white and one outer red. Well, time to draw a new circle. Just a zoop. Okay, two inner whites. One for the binding and one for the infusion. And the outermost circle, red, for the actual summoning of the demon. <sighs> exactly one short. Oh, god damn it. Okay. There we go. Okay, now let's set up that whole thing again. So, first, set up the barrier. Second, summon the demon. And then third and finally... Bind it to the mirror. Here it is. So that's going to need a brew of hollow tears, a gold ingot, and a glass pane. Really easy. And a demon, of course. And just in case, let's set this completely to night. I don't think it's necessary, but... Oh yeah, and the heart room. Have I drawn a circle yet and not forgotten the heart rune? Just to be sure, let's take the lever with us. Maybe that's what messed it up. Okay, here goes. Barrier. Demon. Hello? 
Mirror. Zoom. The magic mirror. And that is our quest. So we'll be exploring these various things that the mirror can do next time on Regrowth. See you then.